Hi guys, Luna here and welcome back to another update video. Season 10 of Apex Legends is out now and I'm going over all the new content added like the battle pass, new character and weapon, and of course the patch notes which make a lot of changes and fixes in this update. So we're going to jump straight into it and we'll start with the new additions to the game like the new character who has been added and he's called Seer. With micro drones and an artist's eye, Seer spots opportunities that other legends might miss and seizes them in the most beautiful way he can. So his tactical ability is called Focus of Attention, and this summons his micro drones to emit a delayed blast that go through walls, interrupting and revealing enemies. His passive ability, Heart Seeker, hear and visualize the heartbeats of nearby enemies when aiming down sights, and his ultimate ability is called Exhibit. Creates a sphere of micro drones that reveal the location of enemies when moving quickly or if they're firing their weapon when they're inside of the sphere. Next, a new weapon has been added called the Rampage LMG. It's a slow firing but hard hitting weapon that uses heavy rounds and it has also a unique revved up mechanic that increases the weapon's fire rate by adding a thermite grenade to it but it does take 4 seconds to load that ability. Next, the arenas have been very popular since they've been added but now it's getting its own ranked version for players to compete in. The system will work with two ranking systems, first a skill rating i.e. bronze, silver, gold all the way up to predator and a hidden MMR rating which is used to better match you with players of equal skill level. Lastly a couple more things to know, there will be placement matches to begin with for the ranking system, there will be penalties for leaving early, there will be a no split in the season like there is in the regular battle royale rank matches and for maps and rank matches it will rotate between Kings Canyon Hillside Roll's Edge Dome and Olympus Oasis. Lastly, there are some big map changes coming to World's Edge. The refinery has been wiped out by a huge lava fissure and is replaced by a much bigger point of interest called Climatizer. The whole area was redesigned basically to attract more players to this part of the map to battle it out. Next, fissure extension. The planet has fractured all the way from Climatizer to Fragment East with a bubbling lava river connecting the two. The main difference with the crack in the north is that it does not have the updraft airlift mechanic. Instead, it's traversable like all other lava in the map and inflicts damage to players if stepped on. Starting Factory has been swallowed up by a massive sinkhole and replaced with another big point of interest called Lava Siphon. Lava Siphon and Climatizer will also have the newly added gondolas as part of them. The train yard has been swallowed by a landslide and these changes are not too different but the changes were made to make the flow in and out of the area much quicker to prevent teams spending too much time battling it out in this area. Next, the skybox has been changed back to more like the older version with some changes, but things will look colder and lighter looking. Lastly, there's a couple of new entrances at Geyser and Overlook to make exploring the area more fluid. All right, let's move on to the patch notes for season 10 update, starting with quality of life. Added a new badge, Wind Streak. You can get 2, 3, 4 or 5 wins in a row and earn yourself a new badge. Added a hold on response to enemy pings, which is one of the best additions they could have added to the game to be honest. Added distinct sound effects to the gold backpacks revive. Updated the heirloom store to give players a better view of all the items. And updated the open pack button to show how many packs of each type are available to open. To the legend meta, starting with Fuse. Enemies caught inside the ring of fire from Fuse's mother load ultimate are now revealed to Fuse's team. Knuckle cluster tactical explosion duration increased by 100% and the grenadier passive can be toggled on and off to throw ordnance normally. For Horizon, reduced the slow after the initial black hole pull and bumped Horizon's gravity lift up speed to a medium between 9.1 and legacy update launch values. To Revenant, there's now a visual and audio cue with Death Total Protection is about to end, which can be seen and heard by other players as well. Added a brief slow after the recall to Death Totem as well. Lastly, some changes to Caustic, who's been out of the meta for a while now. His gas damage starts at 5, it's increased by 1 every other tick indefinitely. His cooldown on tactical has been reduced from 25 seconds to 20 and his ultimate cooldown has been reduced from 3.5 to 3 and his duration of his ultimate has been reduced from 20 seconds to 15. So quite a lot of changes there for Caustic. Next, the weapon meta. This season, the Prowler returns to floor loot and taking its place is the Spitfire. In addition to the Spitfire this season, another weapon will be joining the Supply Drops, the Altenair SMG. To hop ups, the boosted loader, reloading near empty but not at zero, increased reload speed 
and overloads the next magazine with extra rounds. This hop-up will be equipable to the Hemlock Burst AR and Wingman. To make room, the Anvil Receiver and Quick Draw Holster are being vaulted for right now. Fully kitted rotation added the Peacekeeper, Rampage, RE45, Flatline and Charge Rifle, but removed the Wingman, Bojack, R99, Hemlock and Sentinel. Attachments. Reload speed increase associated with magazines has been moved to the equivalent stock rarity tier. All stocks now offer increased reload speed instead of magazines. Marksman's weapons now take sniper stocks instead of tactical stocks. And sniper stocks on Marksman's weapon will offer increased stability and sway reduction with slightly reduced handling bonuses. The L-Star, it now takes energy magazines, so that's a big change to the L-Star. It can also be equipped with battles now for recoil reduction. The projectile VFX scale reduced by roughly half, first person on hit impact effect intensely reduced, and hip fire spread has been increased for the gun. To LMGs, reduced the headshot multiplier for all LMGs from 2 to 1.7, and increased the limb shot multiplier from 0.75 to 0.85. Pistols reduced handling time for all pistols by up to 10%. For the Prowler, time between bursts increased from 0.2 to 2.4. For Prowler burst fire, the time between bursts has increased from 0.2 to 0.24. For the Spitfire, damage has increased from 18 to 19. Hit fire spread back from season 8 pre nerf values and the purple mag size increased from 50 to 55. To the alternator, reintroducing the disruptor rounds which come equipped on a supply drop alternator. Disruptor rounds increase shield damage by 40% and the disruptor rounds can only be found on alternators from the supply drop. To the 30-30 repeater, reload speed from stocks is increased. The EVA 8 has significantly reduced bolt fire rate scaling for each rarity tier and the base fire rate remains unchanged. Also, Arenas has changed the prices of some of their weapons. And guys, last but not least, a whole bunch of bug fixes are on screen now. So that is it for today's Apex Legends Season 10 update, including the new changes coming to the game, like the Legend, the Weapon, and of course, all the map changes as well. And the patch notes, which are rebalancing lots of the heroes and the weapons. If you want to see more straight to the point updates and patch note videos, no repeated info just for the sake of it and no pointless 10 minute videos for Apex and other games, then subscribe and join the community. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time. Okay, bye.